Well, at the outset of the ice dance competition, the talk was that it was going to be a close run thing between Oksana Grichok and Evgeny Platov and Angelika Krylova and Oleg Ovsianiklov, the two Russian couples. But at the end of the day, these two were in a league of their own. Sixes for the original dance and uh, a free dance that I will remember for the rest of my life. Unbelievable. They're an incredible form particularly when you consider that Evgeny is fighting back after knee injuries. They're only scheduled to perform one number here due to uh, his painful knee. The 1997 European Ice Dance Champions, Oksana Grichuk and Evgeny Platov. You'll See by Madonna. Great outfits. You think that I can live without your love. You'll see. You think I can't go on another day. You think They've really come of age as champions for me at this competition. Daring move, so dangerous. You can get your boots trapped on the lady's outfit and passion in this routine. just develops so easily. important.
She's the Madonna of the ice, that's for sure. The Olympic world and once again European champions, Oksana Grichuk and Evgeny Platov. That was brilliant. And people are standing all over the arena. Well, what a great way to end this Champions Gala here at the Palais Omnisport in Bercy, Paris. Nikki, it's been a brilliant championships. What have been the highlights of the week for you? It's been seeing how the sport's developing, maybe with more competitions, more money. It was two million in the series like this last year and more to come. Tensions, blurred distinctions between eligible and non-eligible. And then there's been this production of this gala performance has been fantastic. The way the skaters are showing passion. Philip Candelero getting a medal, thank goodness, with Napoleon and his John Travolta. He's brilliant for the sport. But these two gave the performance of the week in their free dance for me. It was something very, very special. Some very kind people have said that uh, Karen and I did an oriental routine and there were little shades of that in it. How nice of them to even compare us a little bit because the oriental routine they did was just breathtaking. How would you compare it with uh, Torvalindine's Bolero? Well, there's a question. It's different and Chris and Jane have a special magic and it had that magic, didn't it? Yeah, Chris and Jane are very, very special in all that they do, and they're still doing new stuff, which really takes your breath away. But the performance that these two did in their free dance just held everybody spellbound from the first moment to the last. And it was incredible because the, the, everybody had come to see the battle between Moniot Lavanchi and Anasina Pezera, yet the, the highlight of the evening for even the French fans was the free dance from Grichuk and Platov. Look at that. And you can see, you know, when a couple go through a lot of injury, a lot of fighting, a big decision to change coaches, we're going out on our own. And she's a, a really strong character. And he was in the press conference really assured. They know where they're trying to go. And it comes out. It comes out in the performance when the chips are down. And that's what we're seeing more and more in these championships. People pulling out their feelings from the depth of their soul. And somehow you can just feel it when you see them skate. Yes, these two were training with Natalia Linichuk and Gennady Kaponosov up until November last year. Then they decided to make a split. They felt they weren't getting enough attention from Natalia and uh, now coached by Tatiana Tarasova. But of course, it was Natalia that was responsible for putting together that fantastic free dance. So much expression. And there's been moments like this this afternoon and in the in the whole of the championship Sophie and Pascal in their Schindler's list number was just spectacular as well in its own way but the lighting design I wish we could have this lighting designer join the championship on all the time this has been an outstanding afternoon and a brilliant week we thank you for your company all week I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed the skaters performances and the coverage as much as Nikki and I have but uh, until the finals of the Champion Series and, of course, the World Championships at the end of March, from both Nikki and myself, bye now.